Back at the diet swap, Dr. Jatton makes a last-ditch attempt to change super skinny Elizabeth's extreme eating habits. Do you think you need to put on any weight? No. No. Do you think if you run along at this weight, you will run into any problems later on in life? I can't predict the future. You really don't know? No. Even after the things I've talked to you about, mm -hmm. you still don't know? I heard what you told me, but like I said, I'm working on cures. You're as far as I'm concerned, cures. old age is an illness. It's an ailment. Old age is an illness? It's an ailment, yeah. So old age isn't a natural thing that should happen? Yeah. It only happens to sick people? I'm hearing what you're saying, but I'm talking about things that I'm doing for myself. I know, and that's what I'm trying to undo a little bit now, because some of the things you're doing, I'm telling you medically, are not the right things okay. for the future. Perhaps you feel fine now. I promise you, you won't later on. Well, that's why I really yes. want to help you. So, from now on, are you going to try a little bit harder? I want to see you, I really want to see you try and finish a whole meal. Try. Tr your hardest, okay? Your hardest. Promise me. Yeah? Deal. It's the final morning of the swap, and it's Elizabeth's last chance to prove she can finish a whole meal. But will she do it? Stefan will not be sorry to see the back of the terrible trio. Oh, I may, I may cry. I may cry through this. Elizabeth, I have never truly met anyone like you in my life. <laughs> and I think one of you in my lifetime is pretty much enough. For me, this feels like, um, like an accomplishment. Um, I wasn't hungry, but um, I knew that if I paced myself, my, obviously having a strong will, I'd be able to do it. Finally, we've done it. We succeeded. Give me a high five. I think she enjoyed it. I think for the first time in the whole experience, she's felt full. Um, again, she won't admit it, but I think that Elizabeth has broke. Full of energy and ready to get up and go? I'm feeling full. <laughs> full to start. So, you've done it. You've got through to the end of what has been a really difficult week for both of you, hasn't it? So you've now got 12 weeks where you're going to go away on sensible, balanced diets. I want you to work really hard at those, which I think you're both going to, aren't you? I'm looking at you. But I'd love it if you could think about how some of the things, the ideas and suggestions that I've come up with for you might work into your philosophy, that you can actually incorporate them and I hope set you up for that long, healthy life that you're really going for. Do you think that would be possible too? I think. Yeah? Possibly. Yeah? I like you. You're agreeing with me and it's wonderful. That's for you, Stefan. I want you to go for it. Really well, try, because I want to see you pounds lighter at the end of this 12 weeks. Much. Elizabeth, that's yours as well. So, I'm going to wish you the best of luck. I really think you're both going to succeed, actually. And I'm going to see you in 12 weeks' time a lot happier. OK? Elizabeth and Stefan are on their own for 12 weeks and it's down to them to face up to their demons and turn their lives and their bodies around. This has been one of the toughest emotional challenging journeys I have ever, ever faced in my life. I came expecting to eat junk food. I did not come expecting to eat a lot of food. but. Having said that, I know that my eating habits isn't that of a normal person. The lifestyle that I left is and has to change. My lifestyle regarding food, obviously. But in every aspect, I think I'm going to have to be more honest, more open, and more true to myself. Coming up... Elizabeth and Stefan return for their final weigh-in. You know, I didn't think it was that much. And Anna learns the shocking truth about the diet pills that kill. Your heart will stop, you'll have a heart attack. Meeting the two self-confessed diet pill junkies and seeing how wide the ephedrine seems to make them got me wondering what is really in these slimming pills that are so readily available. So, I'm hoping that top pharmacologist Professor Tony Moffat can shed some light on the subject. 
Ephedrine is a, a stimulant, so in the same sort of family as amphetamine, and it's banned for use in products like we're talking about for the treatment of uh, weight loss. And the reason for that is it's dangerous. It has effects on the heart and on the brain, and it can cause problems. And that's why it's been taken off the market for this purpose. So buying something from the internet which has been taken off the market not a good idea. These girls that, that were taking the ephedrine, I mean, they were literally popping two or three a day with caffeine tablets. Ephedrine will actually over overload the heart, your heart will stop, you'll have a heart attack. Crikey, that's pretty serious. Yep. Okay, so don't take ephedrine, is, is kind of the message. That's Especially the... not with caffeine. Don't take it at all. But what about the pills that I bought in my local health food shop? Surely they are quick and safe to lose the excess pounds. These over-the-counter medicines, by and large, they're pretty safe. They're all fairly low dosages. I've learned some alarming facts about the effects of diet pills, and it seems shocking to me that anyone can get access to potentially harmful products. As for me, even though I've shed two pounds taking the natural supplement hoodier, I've made the decision that pill popping as a way to lose weight isn't for me. So, I think there's only one thing for it, really. Over the next few weeks, I'll be investigating the power of the mind over weight loss. I'll be jetting off to New York to get the latest fat-busting tips from across the pond. And I'll be revealing the harsh reality of the dark world of extreme dieting. Twelve weeks ago, super skinny Elizabeth was severely restricting her diet on just a thousand calories a day in the belief that this would slow down the aging process. Since leaving the feeding clinic, she's been given a healthy, higher-calorie eating plan. You're looking very well. And have you put on weight? Yeah, lots. Her final weigh-in will reveal whether she's got herself up to a more healthy weight. Well, hello, look at you. <laughs> look hello, at well. you. How are you? What happened to your hair? Um... Elizabeth's being reunited with her supersize opposite, Stefan, to share the results. OK, guys. Let's get down to the important bit, is whether you've lost or gained accordingly, yeah? So, Elizabeth, you've gone from six stone two to six stone eleven. Are you kidding me? You have put on nine pounds, which is phenomenal. I'm gobsmacked. That's fantastic. You've put on nine pounds? You've put on nine pounds, wow. yes. What do you think of that, Stefan? You know, I didn't think it was that much. I'm, I'm, done me. Well done you. Absolutely well. I'm just delighted with you. I didn't believe that you would do it. You look wonderful. Elizabeth has also put on an inch around her arm and an inch and a half around her waist. I wish I could put an inch on to certain things, but an inch is very important. <laughs> but for supersized Stefan, the key question is how much he's managed to lose. You were 34 stone 9. Mm -hmm. You're now... 33 stone 8. Oh, that's fantastic. You've lost over a stone. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Which I'm delighted at. Yeah. It shows you're making the changes, yeah. and the changes are working. To the bright side of the road. Before, it was just the same old thing. Work, sleep, eat. I've had enough, and I'm never, ever, ever going back to the life that I was leading. I feel great. I actually feel comfortable. I, can, I don't feel heavy with this amount of weight on. And um, that makes me feel kind of good. Elizabeth put on more weight than I ever imagined she would. And she's looking so much healthier and happier that I really hope she keeps this up for life now. If you were affected by any of the issues raised in this programme and would like more information, then log on to the Channel 4 website, www.channel4.co.uk forward slash health. Just Coming up next time, Anna tries to get hooked on hypnosis. All those old eating habits are out of your life. They are gone. Gillian tackles Wales' rabbits in her crusade to reduce the nation's rears. <laughs> and our supersizers explode in our feeding clinic. Look at it, and you wonder why you size it you are with Are the you breakfast. Still eating it? Why not treat yourself? A treat is a big fat cream cake. <laughs>